below, below, below. As you can see, I tried doing... Oh, sorry, I moved you. I tried doing the Chozo hair design, whatever. Pretty much just space buns, but I dragged out all my baby hairs. You know what I mean? To give... And bags, the bags are original. Every day. So you can say that we are like siblings or twins, but I see it. Anyways, welcome. Totally forgot I was doing something. We're rating female anime characters. Oh, moment of silence for the fallen. Hate not having nails. Hate it. What am I clicking and clacking? Not the same, doesn't hit the same. So let's try screen recording. Oh, 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 oh. Not that. Okay, last time I tried doing this, every time I looked up something on Google, um, it stopped recording and it really pissed me off. So let's see if it wants to work this time. I'm screen recording now. Anyways, I picked Mei Mei as the first one. She's so bad. She's so cool. I think she's so cool, except for in season two with some of the weird stuff with her little brother, whatever. But I think she's so slay, so pretty. There it is. There's the scene I was talking about. Just kind of weird. Little manipulation moment. Um, but yeah, she has this big axe. And she's obsessed with money, but her hair is so slay because it's white. So we're adding her in. And I labeled them so that it was easier to put these on the ranking board. Um, where is she? Mei Mei. I'm gonna have to put her at A. I love her name. I love her name so much too, so. She's pretty badass. She's special grade. Kinda makes me wanna put her at A. S. You know, we all have flaws. I'm putting her at S. She's just so cool. Her name is Mei Mei. Mei Mei, that's so cool. Um, okay, let's add this. Let's see the next one. I don't have to reason that one that much. She's badass and she's white hair. Okay, something with white hair. <laughs> she has a nice body too. Okay, okay. This is the other one from JCK I want to do. Doctor Saver. I don't know why I put her name under that because she is the... One of them that, what does her actual character do? Let's see. Don't know her name that well. I just remember that during season two, I was so shocked because I was like, bro, why does she look so much like um, her when she was younger? Because they were doing a flashback and I was like, dang, bro, there she is with the cigarette. Um, here we go, here we go, here we go. I want to go to all. No. Oh, no. Should have done more of my research. Wow, I'm very much realizing I'm actually pretty blind without my glasses. I have to scoot the screen up. Like, I can't see anything. Edit, I'll, new screen recording. Okay, Shoko, that's her name. So easy, I should have known that, right? Well, anyways, look at this. Oh, gotta hit record. Okay, so images, right, right, right? That's her in season two with the thing. Super cool, mind you add. Uh, might you add, is what I said, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. Might you add. Anyways, so cool with the cigarette. Twin, right, you know? I don't smoke, but she looks so similar to her. So um, the point of looking her up, because obviously she's a babe, she smokes, she's cool. I just wanted to know, yeah, she is a doctor, so I was not wrong. And she master, master of reverse curses energy to support sorcerer in the front lines. She became a double. She became a doctor, bro. She's saving lives. Um, because she smokes, which is a bonus, I think... I don't know. I gotta show some love for her being a brunette. I'm putting her at A. I don't know that many girls that be smoking, okay? In, in these animes, so... 
I'll put it under there. Oh, 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 Attack on Titan time. Boom. This girl, her name, un what I named her under the save files is Big Mouth, uh, because this is her. Look, if I type up Big Mouth Titan, she's going to come up. Okay, maybe not. Well, no, she is. Oh. P-I-E-C-K. P. So her Titan form is why I said big me big mouth. I almost said big meow. Um, but she's okay. I mean, in the show, she didn't really have that big of a role in my opinion. You know, she was like Psy. She kind of did have a big role towards the end. Like her her Titan came in clutch for a lot of times out of nowhere but on appearance base only well appearance and her titan you know everything that comes to that i i don't think she's that good looking and her titan is not that good looking i think we all can agree oh, you know what i mean big mouth <sighs> low-key scary badass though so I'm gonna put her at C. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm actually not, okay? That's not bad. Good, good job, peck, peak, whatever it is. <laughs> I'm doing Mau Mau. Dude, Mau Mau's so cool. I love Apothecary Diaries. She's, she's so cute. She's so slay, okay? She wears makeup to make herself look less pretty. Wow, wow. Because if you don't know, um, in Japanese culture and Chinese culture, um, they prefer to have a very like blemishless, pale white face and as you can see in the show, like most of them have no freckles, no like distinction of any marks on their face other than makeup, referring to the courtesans and all of the like princesses in waiting or whatever they're called. But Mei Mei purposely didn't want to get snatched. And when she's in this little like Beboop, the Beboop character, so cute. So mini anime character moment, then she turns into a little cat so cute love love and she she she's pretty badass you know like she's like i would say like um laid back chica very laid back chica and for that i um sorry to say she ain't got no boobies um she doesn't she's flat chested they mentioned that in the show as well i'm putting her at a love her but s is like e you know what i mean you get it double e double d kind of thing speaking of which boobs this one i put just as boobs why let's see if you've ever seen this anime oh my goodness it is so good it's a netflix original so good but all her role is is having big tits i don't even know what mythical what is it it's like greek god of boobs i bet she will come up oh my goodness <laughs> i didn't know this <laughs> was a thing what did it you all hear that no way both male and female Okay, we're getting into a deep dive. It would be funny if she did come up, though. Because it would make my point. Like, it would prove my point. God, but what is the show record of Ragnarok? All right. Super cool show, by the way. Um, but I, I am trying to put emphasis on big booby lady 
because I don't know what she does. Possesses a face and un unearthly beauty and has her shoulder length blonde hair decorated with flowers. Large blue eyes. Okay, yeah, we. But what is her role? Possesses beauty. Okay, what's with the big boobs? Can I get some information on that? People think boobs. I don't know what that is. Reddit, what? Anyways, this is her. Dude, I just think it's so funny because look, these two guys are walking around the entire show holding her boobs. On, look how big her arm is compared to it. Like, it's laughable. I laughed. I did laugh when I did see it. She is pretty though. Um, but the boobs are a little un -ga, ga 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 you know? So, as much as we love big boobies, there's a limit. There is a limit. I'm putting her at A. Actually, I'm putting her at, at B. You saw how skinny her arm was? She needs to eat a burger. <sighs> I'm just kidding. But, I don't know. I feel like she fits better in B. Look how perfectly she fit in B. She's in B. Um, okay, welcome back. Welcome back. Let's see who's next. Let's see who's next. Mm, I'll go with three is better than one. If you know what I mean. Demon Slayer. Three wives. Love. Amazing. They get to hang out with the cool rats and entertainment district and they all have big boobs. Fair. I said it. We're on the topic already. They all have big boobs and beautiful faces. Yo, one of their faces looks like in Inuske. Inuske? Inuske? The war guy, okay? It looks just like him. Tell me I'm wrong. Which is concerning. Well, actually, the whole point of him is to have what is this? Why'd they edit someone else in there? Fake. Anyways, um, do I have to really say much about that? Three is better than one. They're really pretty. And look who they're married to. Like, I would be their best friend. And this scene was so cute when they were all like, eh, they probably fight a lot. For sure. For sure. For sure. But... Cute. Cute as hell. Um, let's focus on the girls, because it's hard not to focus on, you know. So, back to the chicas, which, lol. Look at that photo. Um, that's who I was talking about. You know, that's who I was talking about. Which... Anyways. I think they're really pretty, but I don't think they're the prettiest. That's the best way I can say it. Get out of here. I'm gonna put them at... Mm, I'm gonna put them at A. They slay. They don't, they don't blow me over the top, you know? I might even put them in B, but then I feel like B is for boobs now, and I'm gonna put all of them with big boobs in there. Which is not true, because here we go. This is me. Oh, 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 this is me. This is me from Fire Force. If I was an anime, I would be that one. Let me show you. Uh, I think her name is like Maki from... And I was right. Makis are baddies. No, look at her. She has nice boobs, but she also has muscle. If that's not me, I don't know what it is. Also, look at her. Look at her forearm, her shoulder, like. And she slays. She's a witch and she slays. She's so pretty with her eyes. So pretty with her little bang moment. <clears throat> My bang moment. And yeah, I love her. 
And that's so me because I'm so buff and so strong. And here she is with the other, like, chica. Which we're gonna get to that chica. Yo, what is that chica's name? Oh, okay, good. We'll do her next. So anyways, easy one because it's me. And that's so true and that's so me. I'm putting her at S. You know, we love ones that are smart and strong. I don't even know. I don't even know. But back to what we were talking about. The one girl. This is her. Good thing that photo had her name on it. Because I don't know her name. But I do know. <laughs> in Fire Force. Wow. Her name is Pick Me, bitch. Because um, if you've seen the show, which you have too because i recommended it so much um go i don't know about wallpaper go watch fire force it is so funny i love that show um but this is her she's like a cat which is you know but she um most of all the time her clothes fall off most of all of the time she slips all her clothes fall off don't know how we don't know how look at her She's trying to help these kids. Somehow all her clothes got burned off. Crazy. It's crazy how that works. But she is a cutie. I will say that. She's just kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying. Here's her crying. She just wants to be strong, but she accidentally gets naked all the time. What are you going to do about that? She wants to be strong, but she's sexy. Oh, oh no. You know what I mean? Oh, oh no. And then she falls. All her clothes fall off. Her butt's in the air. It's like, come on. Come on. So we will put her at... Because she's annoying, but she's hot, I feel like C is appropriate. No, B. B is appropriate. Um, Because I'm going to give her two notches down. Because the 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 level of annoying... Kind of annoying, that show. But she's cute. I'll give her that. She is cute. Mm, Fire Force again. Let's let's pick on this girl. Oh my goodness. Captain of the Second, I think. <sighs> is she five? Yeah, I was, I was way off. She's number five's captain, and... Not gonna lie, her power is pretty dang cool. She's so pretty. Again, white hair, big boobs, pretty eyes. What can go wrong? Oh, and to add on top of that, she's insane. Oh, wow. Does it get any better? Does it get any better? <laughs> um, She's pretty. She is obsessed with him. And I... I thought she was going to be a villain. She kind of gave the villain vibe. But then she changed. I don't know. She has a, a unique story. But I, in the show, you kind of will, you'll get it. She's really close to the captain of the first. Which is concerning. But I think she's pretty. I think she's cool. Um, and she's crazy. She was batshit crazy, which is hot. So, we're putting her at A. We're putting at her at A, no questions about it. If they're mentally unstable, they're a babe. Speaking of mentally unstable, let's find the next most mentally unstable one. Oh, look who it is. Power. Dude, this one... Love her. She's insane, but so funny. Like, hilarious. And she's so cute, like, with her, with her little thing, like, her, it's like a jacket that's too big for her, but it's so cute. I like her outfit, except for the pants. These are the pants. Shoes also can go. I don't know, it's like, says, like, hey, I... I'm forced to wear these clothes. I don't know what clothes are because she is. She's forced to wear clothes. Oh, you have to watch the show. You have to watch the show. It's literally one season. 
It's so short. Watch the show. She is watch the show. She is so cool. Watch the show. I don't know. I think she's cute with her little cat in the show. And she's hot, okay? She's just hot in the show. She's kind of crazy. And you kind of, when she first gets in, you're kind of like, whoa, what? And then you're like, oh, she's funny. Oh, she has no idea what she's doing. Oh, wow, she's she's a bimbo. And then you're like, oh, wow, she's me. She gets, she gets S tier. Simple logic right there. Let's do Annie. I don't know her name. I She looks like Annie. Starts with an A. Isn't it Annie? Am I wrong? No, I'm right. Okay, cool. Annie, lame name. Sorry. Um, she has her moments of being very badass and then a little crazy and then eating. I don't know what that is. Eating? Her Titan though, very badass. She's got a really cool Titan. Um, and she kicks ass. If you have not seen the show, it is on my number one, will forever be on my number one. And she's pretty cool. Oh, this looks way better. What is this, like a Disney cut? That looked like Tangled. But her actual, I don't know, her nose. I don't know, they put so much emphasis on her nose compared to every other character. Um, so I'm going to put her in, I'm going to put her in C. Other than her having a really cool tight end, she, uh, she kind of like ghosted us in a lot of the season. So who is she? Who is she to us really? Dun, 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 dun. Nope, this one. Hot babe, easy hot babe. Is going on S tier. If you don't know her, she, oh wow. If you don't know her, JJK, blonde, babe. Blonde girl. This is her. Yuki. And she's another special grade. And her hair is so cute. So cool. I love her hair. I like the little bangs that poof up like that. Um, her actual thing though is kind of weird. If she was in real life, wow. I would want to be her best friend. I would so want to be her best friend. I want to be her best friend if she was real. Anyways, we're getting a little sidetracked, guys. Let's just look up her name. Um, I want to show you guys her like little curse guy. And I think Gito. Gato might love her. There she is. This was her in season one. They gave a little snippet of her being so cool, but that thing with her is just... What is that? It's equivalent to as ugly as that thing on Toji, that little worm. But besides that, it does play a big role in season two when she makes it come out. I just don't really know what it is. I don't read the manga. Um... But she is cool, especially when she comes out of nowhere like how she did. So she's very easily going on S tier. She has the body yada 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 yada. Okay. I don't know if she's mentally insane. There's not a lot about her. So just on looks and, you know, the fact that she's a special grade, she's going on S. She's going on S. Okay. We only have a few more, I think. Actually. Oh. This one. I put Vivi as her name because I don't know it, but also because, um, oh my gosh, there it is. That's the one I wanted to show. Not this one in particular, but I thought, actually, I remember in season one, she worked with him and that's why he's so good. I thought they liked each other. I thought they liked each other. Um, but no, maybe not. Anyways, we are looking up Apothecary Diaries. They're called the... God, it took me like two minutes to think of it. I thought it was V-O, it's V-E. Verdigree's house or Verd... Yeah, whatever. That. Oh, sorry I moved you. Didn't need to do that. 
apothecary. Um, not the house, but just the girls. There we go. You know how long it takes to find one name? God, it would be so much easier to just know the name. Anyways, she's one of the, like, main girls at the Verdigree's house. She's super pretty. She has huge badonkas there. I said it. It's right in everyone's face. I'm not going to act like this is PG-13. That's what her character is. Look it. Oh, my goodness. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. And her hair is like Jinshi's. And she has that cute little thing on her forehead. She made this man fall in love with her. And she has big boobs. What more could you ask for? Look at that little lotus in her hair. So pretty. I'm putting her in an S. Yeah, it, I had to spill all that out really fast. Because I kind of got frustrated trying to find her. But my fault. I'm not good with names. I just look up images and find them. And then never keep their name attached to the image. Whatever. Whatever. I think the next one is... The next one is like the only one I'm putting at the bottom. I'll put her in D. Ladies, no ladies will get an E. Probably not. Not here. No ladies will get an E. Butterfly chick from Demon Slayer. Um, I think there is multiple ones. So this might be like the apprentice under her because I think that it is. It's the girl with the bangs, which is her. But honestly, they're all like the same. This is a Hashira. Um, but very girly pop, and I don't like that. I don't like girly pop um, in terms of like very girly, you know, like not even cool. In my opinion, not even cool. Butterflies, you're the weakest of a link. I'm so excited for, I watched the movie by the way, um, and I'm so excited or whenever they drop that season. But yeah, no question about it. I don't think they're cool. I don't like butterflies. I don't like pink. That's what they are. That's what they wear. That's like, okay, look into it. I'm not arguing. At least she's not at the bottom. At least she's not at the bottom. And last but not least, I think, um, I think I'm gonna do one more after this one. Another Demon Slayer girl. I couldn't get behind her. She's the twin of season three, Entertainment District. But I couldn't get down with her because she's so veiny. Like, there's so many veins all over her. And like, it kind of grossed me out. It kind of grossed me out. Like all these lines and stuff, I get they're dead and they're like demons, but they just add, they went so hard on her, like in all of her, her hair also wasn't a fan of. Her body though is nice. Her little wardrobe is like skimpy and nice and cute and slay, good for her. But like, see all of that? I don't, I don't like it. It looks like she needs lotion and his, he doesn't have as many veins. Like, I don't know. He's also not as good looking. Neither of them were good looking, but their powers were cool together. Um, but she also was kind of annoying. She was a little sister vibe. Um, so I'm gonna have to put her with, I'm gonna put her up here. She had a really good body. She did, she did. Other than her dry skin, I'm putting her at C. And last but not least, I think is just going to be, again, Maki Zenin, another Maki. And bangs, saw her bangs, Maki Zenin. Zenin is such a cool name. Oh, am I wrong? Is her name not Maki? No, oh, her name is Maki. And then who's this one? You know, then who's that? Um, if you haven't seen some of the spoilers yet, that character comes out soon. That's the wife of Toji. But anyways, Maki, that's her. She plays season one, season two. She plays in the movie. She's very cool. Um, and I'm pretty sure she has a sister that's on the other team. 
Probably a lot of family history there. They don't go into it that much in the show, and I'm pretty sure they do in the manga, manga, but I don't read. I don't read it. Um, she looks really good in the movie, though. I do want to put that. I do want to show her in the movie. That photo. That photo right there with her thigh high socks. They're not really thigh high, but like the socks. Mm, not loving that outfit, but the way she's sitting in that one photo is very, like, very pretty, very sexy, very. I don't care. I, I don't care. She doesn't. Oh, that scene, you know? She'd be splitting, doing the splits. She's. But the glasses. If only they gave her better glasses, you know. I'm gonna put her at, I'm gonna put her at A. No, because if you watch the show, she's not that impressive. She's impressive, but she's not that impressive. So I'm gonna put her in B. I think that's all the ones that I have for right now. Um, so this is a closing statement, guys. Um, also, while we're here and we're already talking about anime, give me a minute. I need to get my... I have been watching as of like an hour ago, Hell's Paradise. Mm. Main character already got me, already got me in, hooked. Love it, love it, love that it has stuff romance in it. And he's badass. Wow, I can go on a whole rant just about him, but we're not. He's hollow, but he's not. Anyways, this is what we're working with. Back to the video, guys. We're talking about females. This is the list we're working with, okay? Luckily, no one got on E because girls run the world. Why would I put a single woman down, okay? Bare minimum got D. I'm sorry. I don't like butterflies or pink. Bear with me as my hair is like this. Space bumps, you know what I mean? Girly pop things right now. But I'm pretty satisfied with the ranking, you know? I think A's are pretty solid. Imagine all of the B's together. Imagine all the A's together. <laughs> I'm laughing because of power. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's the final results. And yeah, maybe I'll do a part two, maybe not. You wanna say bye, Koba? Bye. Say bye.